60 this year. And a native Long Islander is here today to help us celebrate. Myron Waldman, a Wanta native, helped develop several of the most famous cartoon characters, including Popeye the Sailor Man, Betty Boop, and Casper the Friendly Ghost. And Myron Waldman is with us today. It really is an honor to meet you. Thank you for Thank joining you. us. Did you ever think the characters that you were working on way back then would become the legends that they've become? Well, they were always legends, but not the way it's caught on. I've been touring all over. I've been to Vancouver, uh, up, up to Toronto next, and then they had this uh, variety auction. Uh, the Variety Clubs of America two weeks ago at Christie's. And I, I made a special drawing for them. I usually contribute, and I did that. And I was tickled because they were too, because it got the highest price of the auction. Which was? $5,500 for a cartoon. Oh, my God. I want the you to draw one me a, one. All right. I'll <laughs> now, know, in just later. a minute, we want to show our viewers, <laughs> yeah, some perks in this job. I would like to see... Uh, I would like to talk for a moment about your favorite. Everybody has their own personal favorite. I happen to love Casper. Do you have a favorite among uh, your well, sketches? Well, uh, I like them all almost, but uh, my favorite was Pudgy. Uh, Max Fleischer, when they, they had a, a character called Bimbo, and he was a talking dog, and he would work with Betty Boop, but it, that's, that's uh, Pudgy. And they called me, and it was my group's turn to, to do a Betty Boop again, and they said, we want to change the dog because they want something cuter. So uh, they said, you better submit a couple. I'm handling the picture. And I submitted Pudgy and another cute dog, but they picked Pudgy. And he happened to catch on. He lasted for about six, seven years at least. And now he's very popular in the things that we do. Uh, Let's take a look at some of your other uh, famous drawings. We also have uh, Popeye, which uh, is 60 years old. It's hard to believe. We're going to show the folks at home. Now, were there several artists drawing Popeye? Oh, yes. Uh, the man who originated it, uh, his name was Seeger, I think. And he was a sign painter when he submitted that thing to uh, King Features, and he did very well with it. But then uh, Max Fleischer happened to like it when he saw it. He said, we're going to try it. Now, this is one I did uh, last week with uh, Sweet Pea and Popeye, and Popeye is now using his pipe to blow <laughs> bubbles with him. You know, it's always amazing to people not uh, that familiar with yeah. animation how quickly you can draw these and how quickly, uh, how many drawings go into, into one animation. Can you give us some idea of that by drawing something quickly for us now? Yeah, but you see, we draw, uh, if you look at that picture that we just drawn, we draw very, I draw very quickly anyway because I've been on TV a lot hmm. and I know time is right. of the essence. So uh, we draw a small, very small, about the size of a quarter is the size of a head most Really? Of that's amazing. Yeah. Now this I'm going to draw a little bigger. Okay. And uh, I'll draw Pudgy, all right? Whatever uh, you prefer. Yeah, I'm going to... Uh, nothing's coming up yet. Okay. All right. And I... Since I do him so much, right now I'm starting with his nose. <laughs> Your personal favorite? Yeah, because I've had other things, but they weren't in the animated field. I had my own comic strip. Are new Popeyes, while you're drawing, I'll just ask you, are new Popeyes being made today? I mean, obviously you're still drawing them, but uh, what we see on television, is any of it new or is it all repeats? It's all repeats. They'll probably go into it again. See, they're very costly. If, if you notice, some of them, we show the... Uh, the it's on a, they're opening on a boat and the, uh, to the hole, and then they open up, and that's where all the credits were. This, this guy is my favorite because, naturally, he's easy for me to do. You know, somebody, uh, I read about you, somebody once said that you were more, uh, your personality was more suited to draw things like Pudgy and Betty Boop. You had a gentle nature about you compared to, they had some of the gruff guys drawing Popeye. Is that well, true? Well, I did Popeye. It just so happened that they liked me to do the, what they call the ooh-ah picture, <laughs> you know. But I used to argue about that. Not, uh, I did a lot of Superman, too. That's and right. And were considered very successful. We did even, this is pudgy. That's amazing that you can get that out so quickly and... Yeah. That's, that's fabulous. Are you surprised? 
Are you surprised that after all these years, animation art is, is getting the recognition that it, it probably deserves? Well, I'm deserves. very happy because we've gone to some wonderful galleries all over the United States, and I've been able to... I do a lot of charity work, too, and every nickel of that comes in, I don't charge anything for that, my appearance or even the drawings. That's why I was so tickled about the variety thing, and they were flipped. I just want to give our viewers a chance to see a clip of Betty Boop before we end with you. Yeah. Uh, this is from the cartoon Betty Boop, which you oh, yes. that's... helped originate and develop. Yeah, but that's, the little character there is Jimmy. He was the King Features character, too, they borrowed. Uh, he left his, uh, the machine on when Betty was getting a massage, you see. That's why she blew up like that. <laughs> <laughs> now, when you went to uh, the studio, Betty Boop had already been yeah. created. <laughs> they, they were getting away from the long eared thing, and she didn't look like a girl at all. She had a, looked like a, a dog with tremendous hips and a long upper lip and long ears, and we gradually came out of it, you see. Well, it, it's certainly a, a pleasure and an honor to meet you. I should say that anybody that wants to see your work, it's currently on display in Westbury at, and at where? The Amer American Royal, okay. and it's, go it's uh, going to be I'm, uh, April 25th, I think it is. I'm making a personal appearance at Terry Basile's uh, Animation Gallery in Forest Hill. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Thank you for pleasure. being here, Lee. <laughs> oh, boy, I'll tell you, very busy man. Thank you, Myron. Myron. Yeah.